In this video, you will discover five things that quality men crave from women secretly. Hi, I'm Broderick Boyd and for over 16 years, I've been helping single successful men to attract the right woman for them. So I have a unique perspective into how the male brain thinks. So in this video, we're going to go deeper into this and what quality men actually want, how that's different than what you might say average guys um, or guys that maybe you're not interested in perhaps to make sure you're targeting the right demographic quality men, high value men. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So quality number five is appreciation and approval. So quality men, most men in general, but especially quality men, they want to know that if, if they're in a relationship with a woman, that they're appreciated, that they're valued, that they're contributing something. See, masculine quality men, they get their sense of value by contribution, by how am I making the world a better place? How am I making the people around me better? They actually crave that sense of responsibility and ownership over their domain. So you as a woman that they're dating or seriously considering as being a mate long-term potential for them you are someone that they're going to value your opinion are you actually enjoying approving of them and are you enjoying improving of what they're doing for you um, whether that's approving and appreciating them for their craft you know what they do for work their career their skill their mastery or whether that's appreciating them for their boyfriend skills, their husband skills, or their man skills when they're with you, you know, the things they might do to make you happy, whether it's getting you gifts or giving you a massage or taking you on a trip, planning something, uh, making you something, fixing something for you. They want to know that that is adding value to you, that they're able to make you happy, that if you were a video game, <laughs> They're able to win at that game. You are the game, not, not a video game, but any kind of game. They can win at that game. They know the rules. They know how to make you happy. And ideally, it's something that they can enjoy doing that they're making you happy as well. So it doesn't feel like work. It doesn't feel like a burden. So oftentimes, you can let them know that they're doing those things by simply appreciating them and also approving of them, showing you approve them with simple sayings such as, thank you or i appreciate you or, i love it when you do this or it's so sexy when you do this or wow you are just something else or you are an awesome performer you are an awesome musician you are an awesome at financial planning you know wherever it is for them to approve of them appreciate them for that and make it let it be authentic find what you actually do appreciate and approve of them and let them know so they can know they're on track number four is femininity so a quality man, generally most quality men that you're probably interested in, they have a strong connection to their own masculine center. They have a strong connection to that wild, strong, um, more dominant, more empowered part of themselves that they can be a man who's a protector, a provider, and a master of his own kingdom. He's got his life handled. He's able to pay the bills. He has a, his his purpose. He has a purpose in the world. He's helping others, in community, uh, giving back, contribution. And a masculine man like that, he's going to crave the opposite of that, which would be feminine energy. Feminine energy is is not about things like work, responsibility, um, getting things done, um, mastering the domain, you know, being responsible for things. Feminine energy is the opposite of masculine energy, and feminine energy is about the softer side of things. It's about the flow, the experience, the energetics. It's about that softer spot, that softer energy that is receptive, that is kind, that is compassionate, that is loving, that is nurturing, um, that is creative, that is like the weather. It could change at any moment, but it can be beautiful. You know, there can be a storm, but there could also be a, a beautiful rainbow and it'd be beautiful blue skies and a gentle breeze. You know, that is, that is that fundamental energy that a masculine man is looking for, that he craves within his partner because masculine feminine polarity is really the only thing that creates attraction, chemistry, passion long-term. So you can provide those energies for a man. You can show him that you can provide those energies by just embracing your feminine side. It can be internal or external. External, it could be simple things like 
you know, growing your hair longer, letting it flow down more often, uh, wearing dresses, things that flow. It's that, again, that flowing energy, right? You can show that in your actual appearance with the hair, with your clothes, with the dress, um, or just putting that extra level of detail into your appearance, uh, the styling, the colors. You know, one powerful thing you can do is get your colors uh, analyzed, do a color analysis so you know which colors really match your essence and make you pop, you know, whether you're a winter, a spring, a summer, or an autumn. So that could be really powerful to um, show that with your physical appearance, with your feminine grace, you know, your posture, your smile, your warmth, your open body language, your receptivity. You know, think of the feminine is receiving the pleasure. It's like a pleasure. Think of yourself as a giant pleasure receptor. You know, you're receiving pleasure from being around people, from the weather, the sun, smelling the flowers, seeing beautiful sights. That's a big part of the feminine energy. And again, you might need to be uh, masculine at work, but you can switch that when you're in your dating area of your life, when you're in your, rom your more romantic area of your life. Now, other things you can do internally is practice um, going with the flow more often. You know, not having to have a plan for everything, not having it to be a certain way, having rigid rules about the way things are supposed to be when you're uh, with a man, how you need to be, you know, I need to be the certain way and I need to show him my best face and I need to tell him about, you know, my accomplishments. And that is definitely not the feminine energy. Having that structured plan is, is masculine energy. So it's about being in the moment, enjoying the moment, smiling, you know, having fun. Um, finding the pleasure in every conversation and being a source where he can just feel like he can relax. He can let his let his guard down as well and just be, you know, he doesn't have to be in work mode or responsibility mode all the time that when he's with you, he can enter that pleasure realm. Item number three is love and compassion. So a quality masculine man, he's craving that energy of love and compassion in his life because he could probably provide everything else in his life that he needs but that love that compassion is something he's probably looking for and that's why he's open to now having a partnership i know for myself i was an avoidant man i was an emotionally unavailable man for so long until i started i had my relationship that didn't work out my heart broke really started cracking open and i started tapping more into my vulnerability the part of me that wanted to express myself and be um, seen for who I was and um, that's where the compassion the love uh, I started craving that more you know wanting something deeper with a woman and so it's about when you're with a guy looking towards that little boy inside of him you know how can you see that little boy inside of him and have compassion for that little boy because every man no matter how strong no matter how accomplished still has a little boy inside that's probably needing some level of uh, approval, it's wanting some level of nurturing, wanting some level of love, um, kindness, and compassion, and care. You know, and when you can feel that into that little part of inside of him and have a level of compassion towards that, you can start to melt even a, a very, um, uh, let's say, an emotionless type of man, you can actually melt that and start to make him open up and be more emotional, be more vulnerable with you and feel safe with you because that's really what's happening in those moments is then he's feeling safe to express all of himself and that he doesn't have to be strong all the time. He doesn't have to be, um, you know, in, impressing you. He doesn't have to be in a mode where he's trying to impress you all the time either. He, he could just be and you can be with that part inside of him. So that love and compassion is really like a warmth that you can envelop him in that he just feels like, he never wants to leave, you know, like uh, the, the ancient story of Odysseus. And when Odysseus came to this island, there was a witch there who who fed them food and made the time pass uh, very quickly. And they didn't realize it, but they had, she had enveloped them, him, Odysseus and his men in this warmth, this little bubble of pleasure. And they spent, you know, what, what seemed to them like a week ended up being like five years because it was so enjoyable. And so that's the power of that feminine warmth and compassion. Item number two is true partnership. A quality man is looking for something deeper. He doesn't just wanna play the field anymore. He doesn't want to just uh, sleep around or be single the rest of his life by himself. You know, in the Bible they said, no man is, man is not meant to be alone. You know, which in the Bible, that's why God gave Adam Eve, right? No man is meant to be alone. And I think quality men start to come to this place where they realize that. 
they're not meant to be alone. You know, they're not meant to do life um, as a lone wolf. And so they're seeking that deeper level of partnership and commitment. And so what you can provide for a man is a partner. He's looking for a partner so you can start being that partner to him. How would you act if you knew you were on the same team as a man? If you were, if you knew that he was looking for somebody to really do life with. And um, I know for myself, when I was first dating, um, I had my, my relationship that went bad. And then I started doing a lot of work on myself. I worked with my own dating coach, started figuring things out. And I started dating a lot of women. And I did that for a while. And I learned a lot about what I wanted, what I didn't want. And then eventually I started realizing, you know, this isn't doing it for me so so much anymore. I want something deeper. I want somebody in my life where we can build something and leave a legacy. And I think that's the other big thing about what quality men want is they want to leave a legacy. They want to make a difference on the planet. They want to have a family. They want to um, accomplish bigger things. And the best way to do that is to have a queen by his side in his kingdom and to create and to build and that that king queen relationship is so key to that and it can really free a man to be his full reach his full potential you know most of the most successful men in history um they all were married men you know almost 99 percent of them 95 plus percent of them they were married men and there was a reason for that and now you see that too some of the most successful uh women and men they're they're in partnership because that's where they can really um, evolve into their highest level of themselves. Me and Ancha call it power couples, you know, really a power couple relationship. So some ways you can, you can embody this is start thinking in terms of what would make you into that, that queen, that a man can see you as his queen. You know, what would be the traits that you can embody, whether that's you having a vision for your own life, you know, what things you want to accomplish, what legacy you want to leave, you know, what do you want your family to look like? And being really um, committed and clear on that and also wanting uh, like becoming a team player, becoming a partner. And now what is a partner? A partner is also somebody who is really good at communication, managing expectations, um, saying what they're doing, what they're saying they're going to do, being honest, being trustworthy, being loyal, uh, having integrity. These are more traits of a partner. So you might have, you know, there's a lot of women out there that have the sexiness, they have the beauty, they have their fun, you know, they have the the entertainment value. But if a man doesn't see that she has the other things, the the partnership values, he's only going to see her as short-term girl, not as long-term girl. So ideally, you want both. If you can combine both, that's even more powerful. If you can have that sexy, fun, uh, flirty, feminine, uh, playful part of you and bring that queen energy that's that's uh let's say regal that is seeing a vision for the future the values that is going to be truly compelling to a quality man because then he's able to get that whole package which brings me finally to quality number one which is legacy and purpose i already mentioned this a little bit as well in the last one but so once you find a quality man once you're in a partnership with a quality man a way you keep the relationship growing and developing is by focusing and actually manifesting that legacy and that purpose together. There's that old saying, if it's not growing, it's dying. If a relationship isn't growing, it's dying. If you're not growing, you're dying essentially, you know? If he's not growing, he's dying. So it's about growth. That's how you maintain a healthy, passionate, powerful, a thriving relationship. So looking into the ways that you guys can grow together, and it starts now by actually having a plan for once you do attract your man, What kind of things do you want to accomplish together? What do you want to create? Um, How do you want to grow within the relationship? How do you want both of you to grow within the relationship? You can look at mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, or even sexually. You know, what kind of areas do you want to explore? Um, That can help you to actually attract that because you're already getting into that energy of being that for your partner, for him. Um, So thinking about your ideal family, you know, how you want to be in relation to your family, if you want to have kids together, um, how you might combine families if you're doing that, or how um, how you would integrate your relationship in with your career, you know, how those would merge together, maybe with his career, what would be the vision for that, you know, where are you guys traveling, what kind of vacations are you going on to? And then also, ultimately, what's the bigger purpose? You know, what's the ultimate vision for your relationship in the world as a power couple to be that shining light, 
to other couples perhaps to inspire them and what's possible. And uh, maybe your single friends to show them that, you know, if you did it, if you attracted this, then they could do it too, being that inspiration for others. So that can become a bigger purpose. How do you want how do you want your relationship to be a gift to the world? How do you want your relationship to be that beacon, that lighthouse that inspires the world to bigger things? Um, what can you guys change the world together? Maybe you guys create a business together. Maybe you guys have it start an organization together and contribute in some way. So having a vision for that is also going to be really powerful because again, quality man is going to see that, feel that from you. And he's going to say, wow, this is a woman I could do life with. This is a woman I could see really creating something beautiful together. So you're going to actually be more likely to attract a man like that. Cause maybe you're saying right now, whoa, whoa, whoa. I mean, the guys I meet, you know, they're, there's just nothing like that out there on the market right now. You know, I'm online, I'm on the dating sites. I get approached sometimes and it's just, it's not that, but what happens when I'm saying here is when you embody these traits, you're also going to be more likely to attract quality men, uh, a quality man into your life because he's going to sense that vibration from you. He's going to sense that energy, whether it's online or offline. So you embody it now. You practice these things now. Start being that perfect wife or partner right now. And now he's going to be naturally a, a fit for it. The universe is going to see that. God is going to see that fit and he's going to start putting those two things together. Again, man was not meant to be alone. Put them together and fit it into a powerful partnership that'll change the world for better. So awesome. Those were the five qualities that quality men crave. Five things that quality men crave. Hope this was helpful for you. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. I'd love to hear your thoughts on these and uh, also for future videos coming up. And we can't wait to see you again very soon. Take care. Much love. Bye-bye.